Hello! This is probably the earliest I have ever filmed a video. It is 7.57 a.m. and I don't know, I just felt really productive today, so I am doing productive stuff. <laughs> today I wanted to make this short little video to just kind of catch up with you guys on what I'm reading and also just to say that <laughs> I am working on this huge video right now, um, and it's probably not going to be done for a few weeks yet, so I'm making this video just to let you know that I still exist, <laughs> um, and also to share with you I got some books from the library, and I'm really excited about them. I've been in a reading slump lately, so I think these books are going to get me out of it. So. With that, let's begin. So first, I'll start with one that I'm reading right now. It is The Ranger's Apprentice, The Burning Bridge by John Flanagan. And this is actually the second Ranger's Apprentice book. So I read the first one, it was really good. I would highly recommend this series, especially if you like Lord of the Rings because it's very Lord of the Ringsy. Um, it's obviously all about rangers and the rangers are actually pretty similar to the ones in Lord of the Rings. This series follows Will, who is an apprentice to a very highly esteemed ranger, and just all about his adventures of becoming a ranger, training to be a ranger, and also like doing lots of ranger stuff and fighting evil, and yeah, it's, it's really good. I would highly recommend it if you need something easier to read also. This one is definitely getting me out of my reading slump because it's just a page turner and it's very fast paced and I really enjoy it. The next book that I got from the library is The Story of Land and Sea by Katie Simpson Smith. And this one is, I think it's like fantasy mixed with historical fiction and it has a pirate element in it which I'm very excited about. I don't know how much pirate is going to be in it, but um, some of the characters in this have a background of piracy, so I think that's very interesting. Um, I'll read this part to you just to give you an idea of what it's like because I haven't read it. Set in a small coastal town in North Carolina during the waning years of the American Revolution, this debut novel follows three generations of family, fathers and daughters, mother and son, master and slave, characters who yearn for redemption amid a brew of war, kidnapping, slavery, and love. So I think it's going to be a very good historical fiction, and it's pretty short too, so I think I'll get through it pretty quickly. I hope it's good. I found this by browsing, so you never know what you'll get. Okay, the last book that I got was Once Upon a River by Diane Sutterfield, and this book I heard about it from a YouTuber named The Cottage Fairy, and she has lovely videos. I would highly recommend her. Um, she loves this book, so I decided to pick it up um, because I just, I don't know, it just sounded really good, and we have very similar tastes. So, um, I don't know if I'm going to read all of this because there's a lot, um, but I actually don't remember what this one is about. Um, but basically this little caption here says, three girls missing, one is returned, a story begins. So that, of course, sounds very interesting. I think it has, I think it has like a mystery element in it, um, but also just like a realistic fiction that is very um, outdoorsy and has a lot of nature in it. As you can see from the cover, I'm pretty sure that's what it's going to be about. So yeah, I'm looking forward to this one. Oh, I just noticed, it looks like there's a swan. This is like, it looks like a river, but then it's actually a swan. That is so weird. Huh, interesting. Um, so yeah, I look forward to reading this. I think I'm gonna read this one last because it is the longest, um, and it's probably more description heavy because of that. So yeah, I'm excited to read this one. So then I didn't get this one from the library, but I have been meaning to order it. Um, on Thrift Books, which is a thrift store for books that's online. 
um, and it is called Jonathan Strange and Mr. Norrell by Susanna Clark. And I heard about this one from this book. It's called Book Girl. And it's basically just a book about reading books. Um, and the author of this, Sarah Clarkson, um, makes a lot of book recommendations. This one sounds really good to me. Um, I'll read you this um, first sentence here. Imagine a slightly more grown-up Harry Potter set in an alternate history of 19th century England in which magicians are respected members of British society, consulted in matters ranging from military to medicine. Agatha is written with imitation of an actual Victorian novel. So, that sounds really good. Um, I'm very much looking forward to seeing what this book is all about. Um, I haven't ordered it yet, I've been procrastinating that. Um, but yeah, I, I hope I like this one. I feel like it's gonna be maybe a heavier read, but I don't know, we'll just have to find out. And with that, that is all the books that I have for you today. So I hope to see you soon in my, <laughs> my um, event of a video. <laughs> that is coming. I think you'll guys like it a lot though. I'm really enjoying making it, so I think it's gonna be, it's gonna be so extra, but it's gonna be fabulous. I, I can't wait for you guys to see it. So, um, but for this video, goodbye. I will see you soon.